Well, praise the Lord. This is Mark Irvin. I'm so glad to be with you again for another message of faith, hope, and love. And right now we are teaching a series on the incredible power of the Word. The incredible power of the Word of God. Father, I just pray right now in Jesus' name that you would bring forth this message in a way that each and every person could understand. I pray that you speak through me. I pray that you give revelation through me right now. Holy Spirit, you're on the inside, and you are the teacher. You're the one that leads and guides into all truth. And I ask you to do that right now. Give revelation through me into the hearts of each and every person. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You can open your Bible to Hebrews, the fourth chapter. Hebrews, the fourth chapter, and this is the foundational verse for this series. We've been taking a little bit of time on this. Of course, we have much, much more to share with you, but I always take a little bit of time on the foundational verses for each series that I teach. And this is a foundational. This is like the center verse that all the other spokes for this theme are connected to. In Hebrews 4 and verse 12, it says, For the word of God is quick. Wow. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword, dividing asunder soul and spirit and joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. And we saw several things from this verse so far. We saw that this word, word, is the Greek word logos, which is the written, recorded word of God. That's what your Bible is. Your Bible is the logos of God. It's the written word of God. Jesus said to the devil in the wilderness when he was tempted by the devil, it is written. Even Jesus read the Old Testament. Even Jesus read the Word of God from the Old Testament. He went back to the Old Testament and he found who he was there. He found what was prophesied about him. And just as Jesus went back to the Word, it's the same way for you and I. We are to go back to the Word and find ourselves in the Word. And the Word tells us that we are sons and daughters of God. The Word tells us that we are righteous. The Word tells us that we are love. It tells us how love is released through our life, how joy is released through our life. Many, many things God's Word tells us. Your Bible is God speaking to you. Your Bible is God speaking to you. You want a word from the Lord? Every, every moment of meditation in the Word, thinking about God's Word, is a time that you spend with God, your Father, where He can speak to you, where He can give revelation to you. It's the same way with listening to this message. This is not my word. When I give you truths from God's word, this is not Mark Irvin's word. This is God's word. And when it goes off on the inside of your heart, where you get revelation, God himself, not Mark Irvin, God himself has personally spoken to you. And this is what brings life. And that's what this verse uh, says here. It says, for the word or the logos of God, is quick. The word quick means alive. It comes alive. That's when the Word of God becomes rhema. It literally begins to live in you and live through you and live out into your life. It says, even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. There is word for your soul. There's word for your spirit. And this is the way it works. When you hear God's Word, God's word is is heard from the outside. It goes in through your senses, through your ears, through your soul. Your soul is like a pipe into your spirit. And the moment that it hits your spirit, there's something in your spirit that is already complete waiting to be released. And what happens? You hear the word of God about love. It's going to go through your ears, through your soul. It's going to hit your spirit when you've opened your heart up in that way. And bam, out comes a revelation of love and you see 
You are loved by God. You see how this love functions. And from that point on, with that revelation, there is the power of the word that goes back into your soul. It knocks the things out of your soul that, are, that would not be of, of love in your soul. And from that point on, your thinking is changed. From that point on, you're energized by spirit power on the inside. And then it begins to manifest out in your natural life. And this is how you change the word of god is to go into you activate you bring you forth from spirit into your soul and out into your natural life and then what happens you become a lover that we can see you become an outward manifestation of inward love love that's on the inside and this principle works with everything it works with healing it works with joy it works with peace it works with prosperity It works with all of the blessings of God so the most important thing that you need in your life as a son a daughter of the father after you're born again is God's word you want signs and wonders god confirms his word with signs and wonders you want a powerful prayer life you get to know the word of god so that you can pray with your understanding according to god's word you want to be baptized with the holy spirit speak with other tongues and have all the limits taken off of your prayer life praise god there's a lot of word about the baptism of the holy spirit and speaking with other tongues we have a full class on that four different messages on the baptism of the holy spirit and the purpose of it that is in our Bible school and we'll be bringing that to our internet uh, in a little bit more easier way our Bible school in the future as we continue to rebuild our whole internet structure so it says here for the Word of God is quick and powerful now notice this sharper than a two-edged sword so God's Word comes alive then it becomes powerful it's a two-edged sword meaning a double voice sword it came out of God it was meant to get inside of your heart and then come out of your heart it's two voice God's voice and then your voice a double edged sword piercing even to the dividing center of soul and spirit well it releases spirit power and it renews your soul it renews your mind your spirit is perfect it's complete it doesn't need anything else you are 100% righteous love joy peace all of God is on the inside of you in your spirit but it's in your soul that things have to change the thinking has to change and that's where God tells us that his word comes in and washes us in our soul it washes our unclean thinking away to where we begin to think in line with the will of God for our life God's word and his thoughts are the same thing you want to think God's thoughts and you get his word on the inside of your soul and your soul starts thinking the way that God thinks in line with his will for your life and that's a renewed mind that's where Paul wrote and he said that to be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good the perfect and the acceptable will of God or in Jesus writes about this in Mark the fourth chapter where he talks about the word sown into the soil the good ground which is a heart that is open to receive God's word and it says it will produce 30 60 and 100 full God's word grows in us wow so it says dividing the center of the soul and the spirit now notice and joints and marrow of the bone this has to do with your body the the marrow part of you is the place where your blood is produced now think about it what happens when living powerful rhema word of God goes into your blood supply then it's going to flow throughout your whole body. It's going to change your actions. It's going to change the amount of health that you walk in. It's going to change the way that you are. God's Word empowers you in your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And this is the part that we get to see with our natural eyes. We get to watch God's Word change you in your natural life. God already sees you on the inside, and that's perfect, and that's complete. But it's the outside man that goes through this process of change. And that process of change is through the renewing of your mind. And then a spirit and soul are joined together with the power of the Word your body comes online and you change 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 in every area of your natural life isn't that great this is how it works all right God's Word think about this 
recreates us. And I want us to look at James, the first chapter. The power, the incredible power of the Word. In the Word of God is the ability to completely recreate the spirit of a man. Go to James 1 and verse 18. And look at this powerful passage of Scripture that James writes about. Hallelujah. We'll just take a little time here, give you a little time to find it. James 1, it's right after the book of Hebrews and verse 18. I'm still getting there. The wind's blowing a little bit here, but that's okay. <laughs> we, we like being outside. James 1, and notice verse 18. Now, this is so powerful. It says, of his own will. Wow. Of his own will. Of God's own will will now think about it god's will and god's word are the same thing you want to know the will of god for your life you know the word of god for your life and here we find out that his will it says was to begat what does that mean that's an old english word of his own will begat he us well this word begat is actually a birthing word this is talking about the new birth this is how you got born again somebody came along and they ministered the word of god to you maybe you got ministered you know with somebody sharing the gospel with you one-on-one -on -one. maybe you went to a church service maybe you went to an evangelistic service praise god thank god you know with our own ministry we've had in the last year and a half Close to 1,500 people give their life to Jesus all over the world. and We're just getting started. I'm expecting much, much more to come in the next few months as we step out again, continue to go forth into other nations with evangelistic work and healing uh, services. But, but, but the power, I, I know as a minister of the gospel, when I put forth this word, into a crowd of people that have never received the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, all I must do is put out the simple saving message of the Lord Jesus Christ, and in that message is the power to completely recreate that entire crowd of people that has never received Jesus as their savior it's not my ability it's not anything that i can do i just yield to the holy spirit that's in me and bring forth the word that is in my heart and i know that the power of that word that comes forth is going to change that crowd of people as they open their hearts and listen to what i have to say praise god you know you can you can tell them do you want a new life there's a new life here for you and you can preach to them that God loves them and that the reason that he created man was to be loved by God, that God is a father and he wants relationship with mankind as a son and daughter. God's not mad at humanity. The price was, uh, of judgment was taken care of when Jesus died on the cross and you go on and on. And as you share this, with the unction of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Word goes forth. It opens the hearts of the people. And then when they receive it, they make a decision. And what happens? Literally, that message, that Word goes into the heart and completely recreates that individual. And that's all we must focus on as sons and daughters of God, getting the Word out. You know, just sharing the Word with the people that you're around has the power it's the simple message, the simple gospel, the simple message that Jesus died for you. He became sin for you. He was on a cross for you. He, he, he uh, paid the price. He went to hell for you. He, he satisfied God, the judge, being a just God that he is. It had to take care of the sin problem. Jesus took care of the sin problem. Then he resurrected. And if you believe in him, you are saved. That's the simple message right there. And, and when people will open their hearts, and you and I as individuals share that message, in that message itself is the power to totally recreate a person on the inside to take out the sin nature and put in a brand new nature the nature 
of God. I'll never forget when I prayed the first time. First time I heard the salvation message, I was seven years old. Somebody shared with me John 3, 16. And in that verse came the power of God to totally recreate me on the inside. Nobody can tell me that God does not recreate man on the inside. I've already experienced it. Wow. So that's what he's saying here in James 1 and verse 18. Of his own will, or we could say of his own word, begat he us with the word, notice, with the word of truth. That's how we got saved. We got saved through the word of God. We got recreated through the word of God. That we should be kind of first fruits of his creatures. Then... Let's go to 1 Peter 1 and verse 23. 1 Peter 1 and verse 23. Now notice what this says. 1 Peter 1, again, and verse 23. It says in verse 23, being, here we have the same type of statement, you know, and it's important. The word says that out of the mouth of two or three witnesses were to let every word be established. This is the reason, you know, when I teach something, I try to give at least two or three verses per point so that people can really see this is not just an idea that I have, but this is something that runs consistently throughout the Word of God. So notice here in verse 23 it says, Being born again, being born again, not of corruptible seed. Not talking about the, the seed that is in this world that produces. But it says... You know, the, the, the seed that's in this world, this world still has a curse upon it. But, but we've, we've been changed. There, there's a seed that, that uh, is not infected by this world. And that's the Word of God, the pure Word of God. And someday, thank God, everything in this natural world will be changed and multiply pure seed with pure results. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. Now, how did we get born again? By, here it is again, by the word of God. So God's word is what got you born again and totally recreated you on the inside, made you a new creation in Christ. Isn't that great? In 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, they are become new. All things are of God who hath reconciled us, that's verse 18, unto himself. We were born again, became brand new creations in Christ, totally recreated on the inside of our spirit through the power, the incredible power of the Word of God. So, the Word, the Word, the Word. Well, I see that our time has come to an end again for today. It's been wonderful to be with you. And uh, Father, I just thank you in Jesus' name for your word that has changed our lives. And I thank you for your word that's in the hearts of each and every person. And Father, that through this, that the that increased hunger comes for each and every person to receive your word, Father, to load up on the inside with your word. Because, Father, in this word is the power that brings about the changes in our lives and empowers us to go forth and be the sons and daughters of you that you called us to be in this earth. And I thank you and I praise you for these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, it's been great to be with you again. I look forward to our next session tomorrow as we continue on with another message of faith, hope, and love. And encourage you, check out our website. On our website, Faith, Hope, and Love is there as well. And on there we have playlists where you can, if you, if you do the, the playlist, it'll bring previous series that we've already taught. And we're so thankful to be able to get this word out. Pass it on. Share it with other people. Share it through Facebook. It's our heart to get the message out to the nations. And we believe that we have something very, very important to say and that you can help us to say say it by sharing this with other people. This is Mark Irvin. Looking forward to being with you again tomorrow as we continue on with another message.